the context in which we teach the skills of information and communication technologies in schools today is changing rapidly. As technology advances and as our students are exposed to more sophisticated technologies in everyday life. Our national curriculum state that ICT capability needs to be integrated into all learning areas at school and in their lives beyond school if our students are going to become capable digital citizens. How do we achieve this in the subject of music? What if there was a software program written for use in the everyday classroom that could be used to integrate the teaching of ICT skills into music lessons? Some schools are now moving away from specialist music teachers, asking their classroom teachers to add music into their curriculum. Other schools are asking their specialist music teachers to be broader in their delivery of the arts curriculum. How can teachers in both schools achieve this without taking precious time from other subjects or watering down the curriculum? STEAM is the new educational approach of integrating technologies across the curriculum, linking science, technology, engineering, the arts and mathematics. One way of using this approach in your classroom is the teaching of coding using Scratch. Scratch is an online and offline computer-based coding program developed for use from kindergarten all the way through grade 12. It includes methods of coding music. This is one of the solutions to the problem of integrating music throughout the curriculum. In the last 10 years, with the introduction of interactive whiteboards and iPads into the classroom, there have been many websites created with interactive music instruments and apps written specifically as a virtual alternative to traditional music instruments. In Scratch, students could code their very own virtual music instrument to be played on the click of a mouse or the stroke of a key imitating these virtual instruments. But with electronics, we can take this one step further. Electronic keyboards and MIDI instruments have been around in schools for quite a number of years now. They work by sending a message when a key is pressed. To make a sound or control a parameter such as changing a sound set, volume or tempo. In the same way, we can use the Makey Makey circuit board, like a MIDI controller, to send messages to the music instrument created in Scratch. When we close the Makey Makey circuit by touching the conductive materials, it acts like pressing a key, sending a message to the Scratch instrument to play a sound. First, let's look at Scratch. To create an instrument in Scratch, we need to insert an image known as a sprite. Scratch has a searchable library of images. In this example, I'm using an image called Giga as the sprite. You can also upload or even draw your own images. For coding, Scratch uses a drag and drop system with blocks that click together like a jigsaw puzzle, creating a script to tell its sprite, image on the stage, what to do. The coding starts with an event block, telling when something will occur. For example, when the A key is pressed. Then we drag other blocks from the script's palette into the script area, dropping it in underneath to create the actions that will occur during the event. For example, Set the instrument to quiet, set the tempo to 90, play note 60 for 0 0.5 beats. And of course our Giga needs to visually do something, so let's make it sing. In the costumes pane, we can see that it already has four different costumes we can use. So in our scripts palette, we're going to switch costume to Giga C, wait 0 0.2 seconds, and then switch it back to Giga A. Now our Giga A sings the note C on the keystroke of A while visually changing. But isn't Scratch just gaming though? How is this teaching music? Well, let's look at the music script. Set the instrument to choir. What instrument are they creating? Is it a specific purpose, style, texture or tone colour? Set the tempo to 90. How responsive is the instrument going to be? Does it need to be played at a certain tempo? The instrument notes will need to respond to this tempo. Play note 60 for 0.5 beats. 
How long will the note play for when touched? Students will need to think about how their instrument responds to beat, rhythm and tempo. Now let's add the Makey Makey. When the Makey Makey is plugged into the computer, it acts as an alternate keyboard giving you access to 11 keys to code your very own invented MIDI instrument controller. The Makey Makey works by completing an electrical circuit. So when I hold the earthed alligator clip and then touch the alligator clip attached to the A key socket, it sends the message to tell our gigger to sing the note C. Now for the invention part. Anything that conducts will work the Makey Makey. Aluminium foil, cutlery, water, play-doh and even a banana. Now we have a banana instrument. Isn't the Makey Makey just a science experiment? Well, yes it is. However, it helps students to understand how electronic and MIDI instruments works. It gets them thinking about how they could create their own electronic instrument. They will also be addressing choices such as what are the best materials to use? What is the best structure and physical setup for an instrument to be played? So engage and enthuse your students. Take on this STEAM method of teaching in your classroom and teach your students to code their very own virtual instrument and connect it to a Makey Makey to invent their very own electronic MIDI instrument with my step-by-step -step tutorials. Take it further and have them share their projects with other classes, the school or their parents. Or maybe you could even create a class band playing their own coded and invented instruments. How will you use this resource and make it your own STEAM teaching in your classroom?